What's up everyone, in this video we are covering Google Drive versus iCloud. So let's get started. Both are used for personal stuff mostly. Individuals use both to backup data including photos, videos, documents etc. And both are used to backup the phone data. Google gives 15 gigabytes of storage whereas iCloud gives 5 gigabyte of storage. Talking about the platforms, Google Drive is available on Android and iOS. It can also be installed as a progressive web app, also called PWA. Compared to the actual software, PWA takes less space and it uses the browser's resources. For example, if you download Google Drive on Google Chrome, it will use Google Chrome to show interface as well as it will use Google Chrome's resources. Same goes with Microsoft Edge. In terms of iCloud, it works best with Apple devices. It syncs the data seamlessly on your iPhone, iPad and Mac device. An app for Windows can also be downloaded from Microsoft Store but it doesn't offer all the features on Windows PC. The app comes with a few features such as sync contacts and photos and it comes with a drive folder where you can upload your data. Same as Google Drive, iCloud app can also be installed as a progressive web app on Microsoft Edge on Windows PC. To download, just go to the iCloud website and in the top right menu you will find an option titled apps and under that you will find an option install iCloud as an app. Again iCloud will use Microsoft Edge's resources on Windows PC. Moving to Android, iCloud is not available on Android but there are some third party apps which offer to sync contacts as well as calendar. When it comes to previewing and playing files, iCloud isn't reliable. It doesn't support as many file types. If you try to play or preview a video file, it will most likely download. Google Drive, on the other hand, is used to preview and play many types of files. It supports a wide variety of files showing on the screen right now. From pictures to web, if it can't support a file, it will most likely request to search the App Store to play that file. Moving back to iCloud, their official website does not show which files are supported but after testing I can assure that it can support a few photos and a couple of video formats and of course some document formats to preview. Moving to maximum upload limit, again Google Drive is the winner because Google Drive allows uploading files of up to 5 TB whereas iCloud only supports a maximum of 50 GB of each file. In the next part, we will talk about the apps which Google Drive supports. The drive supports over 50 apps to connect to. To browse and connect apps, you can open an unsupported file such as RAR and it will show you a message called browse the store. On this store screen, you will find so many apps. For example, connecting drive multiple downloader will allow you to download multiple files easily. Okay, the final section is about pricing. Google Drive offers 100GB, 200GB, 1TB, 2TB and 5TB of storage. You pay 2 bucks per month for 100GB and $3 per month for 200GB, which is the ideal choice for YouTubers and bloggers like me. The whole drive storage can also be maintained by installing Google One on Android and iOS devices. The app lets you see how much data is consumed and how much data is left. You also get other benefits such as discounts on hotel prices and discounts on Google Rewards store. iCloud on the other hand comes with 50 gigabytes, 200 gigabytes and 2 terabyte of storage plans. You pay $1 per month for 50 gigabytes, $3 per month for 200 gigabytes and $10 per month for 2 terabytes of storage. You can also share your storage with your family members on 200 gigabyte and 2 terabyte plans. Of course some terms and conditions and eligibility is required. Google Drive on the other hand also offers to share your plan with your family members. Well, there are many other advantages of using both but I will end this video here because the information mentioned in this video is pretty much all you need to understand both and select the ideal drive. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. I hope the video helped. Please let me know what you think of both in the comments down below and of course subscribe to my channel for upcoming videos. Thank you and take care.